Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I just came back from another of my supermarket trips and I thought I would do another vlog. This is, I think, now the fourth or even the fifth vlog I've done about my new low-fat diet. I'm currently in week three and as I recorded yesterday, having a really good time. At the moment, I'm making sort of a lot of uh, superfluous almost trips to the supermarket because every time I can think of, oh, this would probably be low-fat uh, and going out to like check out if, uh, if that is indeed the case and I can find products. This tonight was a super intense supermarket trip. I was going around the aisles like a crazy person for one hour, but I think I found out a really good amount of foods that I'm adding now into my diet. So uh, just before I go any further, I want to quickly make one note for myself. Uh, I usually record these using a little USB lavalier microphone like so. Actually being reasonably happy with the sound quality definitely makes me sound a little bit too nasally. Um, but what I'm doing today or now is I've actually got my podcasting mic up on a boom here on a boom arm So that's the uh, that's the difference. This is another Maono microphone and I'll uh, put that info for anyone curious in the description Not that I think these are really amazing microphones. They're what I could guess in Israel uh, Pretty easily from Alex from Amazon actually. So let me show you today's discovery. So number one I picked up some seitan so I was in the in the vegan section of a supermarket here in Israel called Shufersal and Shufersal has a health food section called Shufersal Green. Now Israel actually has a really big vegan population so it's actually pretty well stocked. So as before I was going through uh, the shelves reading, reading, reading the nutritional labels and as usual as I've said many times you can't just go based on what you'd expect. So all the veggie burgers I saw were over the uh, 3 grams fat per 100 gram threshold. What I did find was seitan, uh, and that kind of makes sense because seitan, to the best of my knowledge, it's like the gluten in wheat made into like an artificial meat thing. So I figured this would be a handy thing to have in the freezer. This is uh, from the company called Teva Deli Vegan, uh, and this says in Hebrew, seitan shawarma. Um, as people might know, I'm a big fan of ethnic food, so that should be good. And the fat content here is listed as being 4.2 uh, 4.2 grams of fat per 100 grams. So a little bit over three, but only by a hair's breadth. Uh, mushroom mushroom uh, fake burgers, mushroom veggie burgers were also really low. They were only three, but I didn't really feel like, I don't know, mushroom burgers doesn't sound appealing to me. I also picked up, and I'm literally just pulling stuff out of my grocery bags here. I picked up this 1.5% yogurt. I mentioned yesterday that uh, I had failed in my endeavor to actually pick up low fat yogurt. So there was different fat varieties and uh, 1.5 is what I was shooting for. So these are just little uh, packs of yogurt. Yogurt, uh, dairy products in Israel are surprisingly expensive and there's all sorts of complicated uh, bureaucratic and uh, reasons for that to do with kosher stuff. So uh, this is not cheap at the moment. I do believe as all this low fat stuff is kind of a, a bit of work, I'm kind of giving myself the odd treat. So I picked up this bag of sweets, probably low fat, definitely, definitely not healthy. Um, so this is spray oil. So I saw they had a few different types of uh, spray oil in the supermarket. So there was uh, um, olive oil flavored spray oil, canola. This one has uh, 90.6 per 100 milliliters of grams of fat so this is uh you just put on but you just put on a tiny spray so this is obviously very very high fat content but the idea is obviously that you use a tiny amount so if anyone's watching this happens to be based in israel this is i try as much as possible to buy shoe own brand because the cost of living in israel is super super expensive the cost of groceries is super expensive and if anybody's trying to lower that through like their own brand not only that it costs even just a fraction less but uh, I really try to support that. So that's it for shopping bag number one. Got some more stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through all the stuff I've talked about previously, like the fruit, the veg. I got myself some more oranges here. Um, I got a few of these, you know, Actimal things, just to kind of uh, Actimal, yeah, Actimal, which is, I think is Actimal abroad from from Denona. These little yogurt drinks, one point five uh, percent fat, so that's definitely in the low fat territory, and I feel like these things are pretty handy. The only cheese, um, oh no, this is smoked. I didn't see this. The only cheese that I really, really not liked so much so far has been uh, the hard cheese of the low fat cheeses. And again, 5% uh, isn't truly low fat. It's just lower fat. 
I've been trying to go for uh, even lower, but it's really hard to get cheese below in Israel at least 5%, like Bulgaris and feta uh, all go down to 5%. I haven't yet found one below. I'm sure it exists, but I haven't found it. Um, so the only, the only of the relatively lower fat dairy products I haven't liked so far has actually been the harder, the, those kind of hard cheese things. So um, this is Labna. I mentioned Labna before. It's a, uh, this is a Shoe for Sale own, own brand again. This is 5%. So Labna comes in Shoe for Sale's own product range in like a 5%, 10%, and I think even higher. So typically you'll see a few and five, as I said, is the lowest I can commonly find for most dairy products. So this is Shoe for Sale's own brand of Labne. We are down to bag number two. Okay, so I haven't eaten breakfast cereal in like literally probably 15 years. At some point in life, I, re I got really into eating hummus and pita for breakfast. And that's been like my breakfast since before I was a college student. So we're literally going back like 15 years here. So I went into uh, one of today's focuses for my stock up was I wanted to get a breakfast cereal. I want to have all the options in the pantry. Basically, that's what I'm doing this week. So um, I spent a bit of time in the breakfast cereal aisle looking for products that were low fat. And uh, the best I came up with was actually bran flakes. Now, I've said this before on the vlogs or what I'm figuring out so far is you can't you can't assume that just because something's supposed to be healthy that it is actually low fat. So I went through all the mueslis, I went through all the granolas in the supermarket and none of them were actually low fat. They were all like 10 grams of fat or more, mostly coming from stuff like nuts that's pretty considered good fat, but uh, it wasn't there. So this bran flakes is 2.6 grams of fat per 100 grams of, uh, of calories. So uh, this is really lean. So what I'm going to be doing for breakfast, the days I don't feel like cooking oatmeal or cooking porridge, um, I'm gonna be putting 1% or skimmed milk along with bran flakes, and that's gonna be my breakfast. Um, I find one more option that, so I'm really, I'm really kind of going all out at the moment. I find one more option that was reasonably low fat. So this is this range of uh, cereals by Nestle called Fitness. Now I know all the packagings in Hebrew, I've mentioned before I live in Israel, so that is just what it is. Um, fitness, this range of uh, kind of health cereals by Nestle had a bunch of options and this one's 2.8 grams of fat per 100. So, and it's got a few dried fruit in it, but not, not fatty dried fruit, like little bits of dried, you know, pineapple, whatever. So that, um, so that's, I think that's gonna be me covered for breakfast. Um, I also got some whole wheat pasta, just something I'm always really, I don't like eating refined grains generally. Uh, so this is, Shoe for Sale have a range called green penne origani here. This is actually spelt pasta, so you can be a bit creative in your shopping. I actually found there were only two types of whole wheat pasta in the regular uh, pasta section, but I went into the organic section. There was like four types and the package sizes were much bigger for the same uh, amount of money. So I figured I may as well get more pasta. So I've got, I've got two kinds of uh, spelt pasta now. Uh, continuing, I got four. So this is more uh, just 5% cheese. I'm going through quite a lot of this stuff at the moment. Uh, Bulgaris, I'm definitely going down in it. And it is salty, so probably something you want to eat in moderation. Um, I got for tonight's dinner what I'm going to be eating in, in as soon as I do this video or wrap up this video. It's um, ravioli with uh, with spinach and cheese. So this is pre-cooked. Now I would have assumed that all the kind of pre-made pasta that you just put in a pot were would would be out of the fat range. So I was actually very pleasantly surprised to see that this one. It's really not bad. Um, after cooking, it's 3.6 grams of fat per 100 grams. And I'm guessing they're using a relatively low fat cheese in this. Um, I'm not sure this ready-made stuff is probably all that good for you, but as I said, my focus right now is more on getting things in. Um, in terms of spread, so I was in the spread department for a while now. I know this is all so much detail. Uh, I, I'm happy if no one watches this video on, and it's just there for like my own reference. I spent like one, like a solid hour going through the shelves in the supermarket. I couldn't find any uh, spreads that were like low fat. So I looked at Nestle, I looked at uh, peanut butter is way out of the low fat territory. Tahini is way out of the low fat territory. But what is uh, okay for fat is, uh, is you know, the, the kind of jams and the preserves. So again, I don't think this stuff is really healthy, but you, so you wanna have it in like moderation, but 
I'm sure a little bit of this in your breakfast porridge is, is probably fine. So this is a, this is a blackberry uh, rivit uchmaniot. Uh, so it's, it's actually fat free. So again, it, what I'm doing at the moment is figuring out what I can eat and then sort of assembling what is really low fat and then putting together recipes uh, based around those. So now I'm really kind of getting there in terms of having options for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Uh, making progress every day today for breakfast I had some porridge in the afternoon I had my a bit of pasta and bulgarese and made sure to throw in a lot of uh, greens a lot of cucumbers a lot of tomatoes uh, and now for tonight for dinner I'm going to be cooking up this stuff so it's going to be more pasta and cheese um, I'm trying to make sure to eat like fruit on the side as well right now I reckon I'm probably actually eating too many calories because I'm just trying out all these different things so I wouldn't be surprised if when I measure my weight in two weeks I go up a little bit but uh, my intention is that as I sort of figure out what to eat I'll go back to just eating like a normal amount of food every day and yeah it's really good to uh, find out that there are actually so many options what you can eat so at the moment uh, my diet the kind of fulcrums of my diet the low-fat diet grains so like breakfast cereal uh, low-fat dairy um, a little bit of sugar in the form of uh, fruit and uh, these you know jams and stuff like that and uh, lentils as well are, are really good all those kind of uh, legumes so chickpeas lentils etc are I'm also throwing those in whenever I'm preparing a salad I have a, a bowl a gastronome full of lentils in the fridge and I'm just throwing in a bit of lentils and so actually I'm eating a lot of really great food and therefore feeling quite good about it so Thank you guys for watching, uh, anyone who, who did, and more videos will be coming on soon.